Treatment for HPV cancers is really evolving. And, you know, when it was first recognized that they were causing the cancers, we were really still treating them exactly like the smoking and drinking related cancers. And now there's research going on here at Mayo Clinic looking at trying to treat them differently because truly it's a different disease. So from every standpoint, um, biologically, uh, what causes it, how they respond to treatment, everything is totally different from the smoking cancers. Curative intent treatment, it's gonna be more aggressive, typically involving combinations of surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. One of the areas of research here that we are very excited about is that we're looking at ways to actually decrease how intense the treatment is for some patients who have HPV-related cancers. The reason for that is because one of the really key things that was recognized early on about the HPV cancers is that they do better with treatment. So they respond better to treatment, the cure rates are higher, and the long-term survival is much higher. Traditionally, the way that we've treated these HPV-related cancers has been either with seven weeks of intense radiation therapy and chemotherapy, or a very large surgery followed by six weeks of radiation and possibly with chemotherapy, depending upon what your risk factors are. These are very good treatments, and these treatments have led to very high cure rates for these HPV-related oral pharynx cancers. So if you're a patient that has one of these cancers and it's confined to the head and neck, my first message to you is no one wants to have a cancer diagnosis, but if you have a cancer diagnosis, please rest assured that this is a cancer that we as a profession, the medical profession, know how to cure very well. Our focus has been particularly for these types of oral pharynx cancers, how can we cure you of your cancer, but still have you be able to eat well and speak well and do all the things that you enjoyed before. We have a variety of approaches for this and they're all very patient specific, so there's not going to be one approach for all patients. We have also been national leaders for clinical trials for these type of cancers. And these clinical trials are looking at ways where we can really cut back the dose of radiation and chemotherapy. Our effort here has been focusing, for example, on let's cut the radiation down from six weeks to two weeks. And that's just not available elsewhere in the nation because that's a Mayo Clinic initiative. The most important treatment for cancer is to prevent it. And these are preventable cancers. There is a vaccine against these cancers. Um, the human papillomavirus is almost entirely caused by a strain of it called HPV-16. And if we were to be able to vaccinate everybody in the world against HPV, we would see this disease essentially disappear in the upcoming decades.